Today in Tech Time, we are going to go back into Google Drawings and do a little bit more with what we've already done. I'll navigate back to my drawing I created earlier. I'm going to make a copy of Practice 2 and change it to Practice 3. Make a copy, right click or two finger tap on top of it. It will create my copy. I'm going to go in and change the title to Practice 3. There we go. Now, I want to make another friend for my little person here. So I'm going to move this over. And I did not group it. I just selected the whole thing at once. Um, if I want to group it, I can, remember, select the whole thing, right click or two finger tap and click group and that will keep it together. I don't really want to do that right now because I'm going to change some things when I make a copy. I make a copy of the whole thing, just like when I did the arms. I select it all, make sure there's a blue line around the whole thing. On my keyboard, press Control D, and now I have two of the same thing. Now they aren't grouped, so when I click off and I click on one piece and I'm gonna move it, or select just parts of it, there we go, I'll move it um, around. If I do something I didn't wanna do, I just click undo, no big deal. And I want to change this one. I'm going to change the colors um, so that my person is distinct. I'm going to change their face color just a little bit. Maybe change the size of the lines. I need to get into that little neck right there. It's kind of hard to get right in that little spot. There we go and change the color of that. Here we are. And I want to get rid of this little lightning scar. So I click on it and press backspace on my keyboard and I've gotten rid of what I didn't want. Now I can continue to add more parts to my person. Um, this one, I want to add a little skirt or a kilt if you will. I want to go into there, send it to the back change the color there we go now all i need are some arms the rest of the arms and legs and some hair i'm gonna go here to see this little line click the teeny tiny drop down arrow and go down to scribble and now i'm going to scribble some nice curly hair oh sometimes it doesn't work hold on hmm there we go. Not sure why it wasn't working before. Sometimes technology does not do what you want it to do. I think she's got big hair. Or he. Whatever. Now, I can leave it that color and size, or I can change it. Just like I changed the lines on the other parts, I can change these lines. Now it's easier if I do it before. So I'm gonna delete all that hair, except for the first piece I did. I'm gonna go ahead and change it right now, the size and the color, so that when I continue drawing, it's gonna be the new color. If you change it at the end, you have to change each individual piece. And that's a little bit of a pain when you've done a whole bunch of pieces. Now I'm doing curly hair just because I like curly hair. You can do other kinds of hair if you like. If you want to change it to a different color, maybe do some spiky hair. Maybe a mohawk. Maybe some alfalfa hair, whatever you wish. Now this would be a great time if you wanted to, um, to group things so that you're not doing each individual one. Now notice over here, when I change the color, it changed this one too. I need to fix that. To fix it, I'm gonna have to click on this arrow and then select the one I want and now I can change it. If I try to change, if I try to click when it's 
this, it's just going to draw more lines. And you don't want that. All right. Have a great day.